Hey, Erica. Erica. You okay? I'm great. Penny for your thoughts. A penny. It is kind of cheap, isn't it? <laughs> Way cheap. Erica, here we go. <clears throat> Listen, if you ever want to talk, you know. It, it's okay, Dad. Really. I can stay around for a little while longer if you want. Do you have to walk me every day? So then the drugs. Carbamazepine. And then the zemisamide and the phenobarbital. I even went to Canada once to get some that we couldn't get here. All the drugs affect something else, so she takes nausea medication, calcium, iron. Will Dr. Hansen be coming to this? Uh, it's on his schedule. About a year ago, everything started changing. The seizures became more severe. Yeah, they can get worse during adolescence. <laughs> what does it? Good morning. Uh, this is Edgar and Kristen Linden, Dr. Hansen, and this is Erica. Temporal lobe epilepsy, right? Increased frequency and duration since you started junior high. Right. Well, junior high will do that to you. Right. We don't know what else to do. We wanted to talk to you about the surgical option. Yeah, well, the grandma seizures she's having are very dangerous, and uh, if the meds are ineffective, we can discuss surgery, but first we want to get some scans of the hippocampus. It will show some neuropathology, some damaged neurons, if she has the kind of epilepsy where surgery will be most effective. And if that's so, then we'll take a few days to map the focus of her seizures and then we'll remove the part of her temporal lobe that's causing the problem. We just want her to be healthy. Have a normal life. As do I. So if they're ready, you should just take her down to the MRI. I'll check back with you later. Uh, so if you're interested in going down this road... We are. Look, doctor, you can scan my hippocampus or whatever, but you're not taking a piece out of my brain. I'm keeping my seizures. Erica, please. I'm sorry, why would you want to keep having seizures? I see God.